while testing hypothesis you might have come across the tail test and you might be confused with deciding which type of tail test you want to follow for your the problem for your situation that you are committing and in this video i will facilitate in deciding the type of tail test whether it is one tailed or two tailed test based on tail test we will mark critical reason and rejection reason for that deciding very accurately the type of tail test is very important because it depends upon the alpha rejection reason and right tailed left tailed and so many things so in this video i will make it very easy to decide the type of tail test then let us move here it is a tabulation chart of null and alternate hypothesis and corresponding one tailed and two tailed test for deciding one tailed or two tailed test please follow this chart and it will help you for a better def definition of type of tailed test so as we know if your null hypothesis is equal to theta equal to theta and alternative hypothesis would be theta not equal to theta theta it is a null and alternative or a contradictory in nature so it must be opposite in nature while you are deciding type of tail test you must concentrate on alternative hypothesis you must concentrate on the symbol of alternative hypothesis in in this hypothesis the symbol is equality sign equality are not equal if your alternative hypothesis is not equal you must go for two tail test it means the two tail test having a critical reasons under both tails so if your uh, reason sampling distribution ev if it is so in this your rejection reason will fall under the both side both side of this distribution so in two tail test it means the rejection reason falls in the both tail of the distribution so to decide to reject the null hypothesis you must have to define whether it is one tail test or two tail test so if your hypo alternative hypothesis is equal or not equal type you must go for two tail test and looking for other another, another hypothesis null hypothesis if your null hypothesis is equal to theta lesser than or equal to 0 theta and if your alternative hypothesis theta greater than theta so here you must concentrate on the sign of alternative hypothesis in the, the alternative hypothesis sign is greater than greater than means in the sampling distribution your rejection reason falling in the right tail right side so if your alternative hypothesis symbol is greater than you must go for right tail test so right tail test means in the sampling distribution it is simply the rejection reason will fall in the right side of the distribution so right tail test having critical reason or rejection reason under right tail only you should not go for two tail you should not go for left tail the rejection reason will fall in right tail only and concentrate on one more hypothesis that null hypothesis is equal to theta greater than or equal to theta and alternate hypothesis is equal to theta lesser than equal theta in this case again i as i said you need to concentrate on alternate hypothesis and its symbol so in this alternate hypothesis the symbol is lesser than type it means the critical reason in the sampling distribution will fall in the left side of the distribution your rejection reason in the sampling distribution is in the left side so left tail test having critical reason under left tail only so why should we go for this type of tail test means you want to decide decide critical reason critical reason will have very useful for deciding for rejecting null hypothesis after calculating test statistics you want to decide to take a decision the decision must be to reject the null hypothesis to accept the null hypothesis to reject or accept the null hypothesis or taking at the decision about null hypothesis you must follow the rejection reason in tail test so this is uh, according to this tabulation you can go for tail test and very importantly to decide type of tail test you must concentrate on alternate hypothesis only so in this case 
it is not equal which means there is a two tail test which in this case is the greater than greater than means right tail test and in this case it is a lesser than lesser than means left tail test now let us consider some real life example so that you can understand how i am going to formulate type of tail test so let's have a real life example then here we have a problem in which this is a problem so a company has replaced its original technology of producing electric bulbs by cfl technology which means in this example there are two sample one is original technology and cfl technology we can consider the cfl technology as new technology and this as old technology also for your coding purpose after replacing the manager of company wants to compare the average life of bulbs manufactured by original technology and new technology of cfl bulbs so here manager wants to compare the average life of bulbs manufactured by both technology so for this problem write appropriate null and alternative hypothesis and also we have to say about one tail test and two tail test in one of my lecture on formulating null and alternative hypothesis i have detailed how to formulate null and alternative hypothesis please refer that video for this writing null and alternative hypothesis then let us go for deciding type of tail test in the, for this real life real world problem so here again i have consider the same problem to make comparison directly so in this case we have two types or two sample one is original technology and cfl technology so suppose the average lives of original and cfl technology bulbs are denoted by mu1 and mu2 so original technology denoted by mu1 cfl technology denoted by mu2 we want to get into the mathematical model and symbolical model so i have giving denoting by mu1 and mu2 now let's assume the company manager wants to know the significant difference between mu1 and mu2 which means original technology and cfl technology then if the company manager is interested just to know whether is there any significant difference exist in average lifetime of two types of bulbs here manager interested to know significant difference exist in average lifetime of two types of bulbs then null and alternative hypothesis for this kind of uh, to know the significant difference between two sample would be then your null hypothesis would be mu1 equal to mu2 firstly manager interested to know the significant difference so i can say there is no significant difference between two technology which means mu1 equal to mu2 so average lives of two types of bulbs are same then our alternative hypothesis would be it is a contradictory to null hypothesis that's mu1 not equal to mu2 so average lives of two bulbs of sorry two types of bulbs are different here while deciding type of tail test we have to concentrate on as i said you on alternative hypothesis the symbol of alternative hypothesis is equality not equality type then you can remember the tabulation where i have indicated if the alternative hypothesis is not equality type you can go for two tail test so for this example our tail test would be two tail because since alternative hypothesis is two tail test therefore corresponding test will be two tail so this is a example in this example i have assumed manager interested to know the significant difference between cfl technology and original technology on the basis of that i have decided i have considered i have written null and alternative hypothesis and i am concentrating on alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis indicating not equality sign which means rejection region will fall both side in the sampling distribution so alternative hypothesis is a two tailed then let us consider one more example for on the basis of this here i copied same problem but manager perception is different in this case so if the company manager interested to just to know 
whether average life of CFL is greater than the original technology bulbs. So here very very importantly you should concentrate on average life of CFL bulb is greater than original technology. Then our null and alternative hypothesis would be so here as you know let a original technology be mu1 and the CFL technology be mu2. Then our null and alternative hypothesis would be like this. So we have to formulate hypothesis for this. So the manager interested to know CFL average life is greater than original technology which means mu1 mu1 is original technology must be lesser than mu2 which means CFL technology. I have written a climb and I have also written a contradictory of this climb. So for a null hypothesis we have to consider equality in either the hypothesis we have written. So equality sign I have considered in null hypothesis and not equality which means lesser than sign I have considered for alternative hypothesis. So again we have to concentrate on alternative hypothesis to decide type of tailored test. In the alternative hypothesis it is indicating lesser than type which means average life of CFL technology bulbs is greater than the average life of original technology. So as you know all if it is lesser than in the sampling distribution your rejection region will fall in left tile, left side, left tile. So it is a left tile test. So this is a since alternative hypothesis is a left tile test, the left tile therefore corresponding test will be left tile test. So this is how you will decide type of tile test. I hope you really got this problem and you will be able to define the problem. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my Vision Academy YouTube channel. Also make a practice on this problem. Thank you.